So this is the idea that clouds move air up above into the next layer of the atmosphere. And uh, I'm going to show you uh, how I think it works. So, so usually we see clouds as being pushed around by um, warm fronts, cold fronts, occluded fronts, and generally just pushed around by the wind. And uh, clouds often happen between weather systems where there'll be warm on one side and cold on the other. But maybe we're looking ahead a little bit wrong. Maybe the clouds actually pull and push the uh, weather systems along to some extent. Maybe not entirely, but to some extent they, they're um, uh, active uh, creators of weather. Alrighty, I'm just going to play now. So okay so I'm going to pause again now this is a typical thundercloud picture or diagram except I've added a couple of things in so in the normal thundercloud diagram the updraft goes up down and out more or less well it usually kind of stops actually but in mine we have these little arrows here which is the um, warm air entering the cloud cloud is just uh, an area where there's uh, uh, little droplets of water tiny little droplets of water so and it's it's um it's not uh it, the, the little droplets are falling and if little droplets are falling while staying in the one place it has to mean that the air is rising up through the cloud the droplets at the bottom can't just um, uh, 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 it, it air has to be moving up it's kind of like snowflakes if snowflakes were in one spot you'd have to say that uh, that's impossible unless the air was uh, blowing upwards so it's the same deal so if we consider so that's the first thing that I do different than other people's diagrams is air is entering the the cloud from the bottom so it goes up and around in the loop but here's the other part and it's the same deal at the top imagine uh, snowflakes up here falling down well they can't fall down and remain in the one place unless there's an updraft of air going up through them and it must uh, extend above the cloud now that means that if air is leaving the lower atmosphere and going into the upper atmosphere it means there must be a suction because um, there's material disappearing from this area here and a suction with the heavy cold air at the back warm moist air and um, this means this uh, air is lighter than the the air on this side because even if it was the same temperature uh, just because it's moist because um, water vapor is lighter than air it has a molecular weight of 18 whereas air has a molecular weight of uh, 29 to 30 so um, 29 and a half or something like that so this moist air rises up and um, as soon as it condenses into cloud material into droplets um, energy is given off so that can be heat and it can do a variety of things like most people think the heat just causes this upward motion but the upward motion I believe is much more likely to be caused by the little droplets falling down um, they're falling down so something is going up to counter their falling and um, now we get on to the next uh, phase of the diagram. So this is the and uh, the differences I show is warm air entering and air dry air leaving. That's the essential differences that makes it, this actually makes all the difference to a cloud diagram because the ones that you've seen before are kind of I don't know illusionary or deceptive. So where we go to the next phase of the little thing. Um, I'll show you the satellite um, stuff in a moment. So relativity, we'll stop here. So a cubic meter of where air weighs about a kilo. So this is up at about 10,000 feet. Clouds contain about half a gram of water droplets per cubic meter. So 
Hurricanes contain about a gram per cubic meter, so it's substantially more water um, droplets in hurricanes. And they're falling about a, uh, an average speed of the smallest cloud droplets is about a centimeter per second. So these fall a little and they vaporize and others materialize around them, fall a bit. And this is a constant um, thing. And that means that in a stationary cloud, about a kilo of air per cubic meter is going up at one centimeter per second. Because if the, if the droplets are falling at one centimeter per second, but staying in the same place, it means there must be a countercurrent of air going up. And even if it's just half a gram of water droplets falling, uh, it's a kilo of air. So it's um, 2,000 times as much uh, air going up as water going down. Okay, so relativity two. So a small cloud, a, a, a cubic kilometer in size, is pumping a billion kilos of air upwards inside the cloud at an average speed of a centimeter a second. And that actually extends below and above the cloud. So the cloud is doing quite a lot more pumping than. Uh, just what's inside it. So this is just my diagram again. So maybe I think I put it in a second time just so that you could see it in a different light. So the wind supposedly is blowing it. Okay, so I think this um, is going to show you stuff a little better. Oh, sorry. So, um, so this is a NASA video of, um, I think it's Hurricane Irene, but this particular one shows it quite well. And uh, here we go. So, what are we looking at? First of all, you see these clouds here. So it is 2015. So this is minus five is. So that's 8.15, take away 5, uh, 5 and 3. So it's around 3 p.m. in the day, and you have these big clouds, probably thunder clouds over Cuba and over Florida. And there's ones just starting here in the Yucatan Peninsula. Uh, so we play on a little bit more. Now do you see these guys going bigger and bigger? And these guys as well, slightly different phased. These are gone, these are starting to disappear because it's an hour different in time. Now we look at the hurricane. So hurricanes uh, go anti-clockwise. And remember what I said about the um, air leaving? Uh, at the top. So the air is going up into the next level and leaving. And if you look at the hurricane, this here is not going anti-clockwise, it's going clockwise. And this is the air that's leaving the hurricane in the next level of the atmosphere, the higher up level. This air is being pumped up by the hurricane, goes around like this. So hurricane clearly going anti-clockwise, this air is going clockwise, leaving it. So it's very very broad uh, now so it's coming around up here and down and it spreads out into a kind of a a fan right across Cuba uh, Haiti Dominican Republic uh, very big fan and you can see that it is blowing the tops of these clouds that are um, developing over uh, Cuba and Haiti. So it's 16, 15, so that's, um, that's about uh, 10, sorry, 11, uh, 11 p.m. So um, uh, around 8 o'clock again, you'll see these blast up and see what happens with the, the stream of exit air up in the higher atmosphere coming from the hurricane. So where we go. 
So you can see there's lower air coming. And now it's been hit as it comes. Sorry, I'm going to stop that. So this was interesting because the hurricane is sucking the lower level towards it, but blowing the, uh, the upper level. So I'm just going to see if we can replay it. So I'm just going to go back a minute. And we're going to play it again now. You watch the clouds form going uh, left to right and then as they reach the upper atmosphere they're going the other way. So they're going left to right and suddenly they're going being blown the other direction. And there's the same thing happening down here. I'm not sure. Oh, this is a front, I think. But you can see it fairly clearly. The air leaving the hurricane and it's causing uh, these clouds to blow the other way. And I'm just going to stop for a second. So clouds in forested areas, um, they form uh, around something called condensation nuclei. And these are formed by, first of all, you get... Um, Fungus, when they release spores, so uh, late at night or early in the morning, they release their spores. And the mechanism they use uh, lets out tiny particles of uh, potassium salts. And they um, go up into the atmosphere. The trees release, um, um, what are they called? Um, um, oh, I've forgotten the name of them. They release uh, chemicals that uh, condense on on the um, the potassium salts and they're the ideal condensation nuclei so uh, this air comes along here and blows right in so this might actually be fairly moist air but once it really hits these condensation nuclei here you get this a, a much larger uh, puff of because it's condensing again it ha didn't after going through the hurricane it didn't have much to condense on and then it comes along here and boom it starts to condense again i play it on and you can see other places you can see florida see there's big um, cloudiness coming here the clouds from cuba are now being here we go again um, blown and the hurricane is gone 